federal government says it has approved an increase of between 25% and 35% in salaries of civil servants on the existing six consolidated salary structures. Minister of State for Labor Nkirika Onyejocha says, although the Tripartite Committee on National Minimum Wage was yet to conclude its negotiations, workers will not lose anything as the new minimum wage will take effect from May 1, 2024. However, the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC will have none of it and called on the federal government to announce a new minimum wage of 615,000 Naira. During his address at the 2024 Workers' Day celebration, NLC President Joe Ajaro said the process of fixing the new minimum wage is still continuing, hence the demand of 615,000 Naira in line with present realities. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, has deregulated meter prices under the Meter Asset Provider MAP scheme for end-user customers. NERC in a circular said the review is based on the need for the efficient pricing of meters and from May 1st, all prices of meters under the MAP scheme will be determined through a competitive bidding process with customers provided with a choice of authorized vendors. World Bank President A.J. Banga say he expects donor countries to meet a request by African leaders to make record contributions to a low-interest facility for developing nations, stressing that these were not handouts but investments in the future. African heads of state called on Monday for rich nations to help raise at least $120 billion for International Development Association IDA at a conference to be held in Japan in December. The target amount of $120 billion means donors will have to put about $30 billion since the World Bank can borrow $3 for every dollar raised. Banga in an interview acknowledged donor countries have their own challenges but opined they all value the effect of contributing to IDA. The founder of Binance Chapeng Zhao is the world's richest prisoner with a personal fortune estimated at $43 billion after being sentenced to four months in prison. Zhao was sentenced by a Seattle court on Tuesday after pleading guilty to violations of the United States anti-money laundering and sanctions laws last year. A U.S. judge handed down the four-month sentence despite prosecutors pushing for a three-year term. Binance was earlier this year ordered to pay $4.3 billion after an investigation found it had helped users bypass sanctions.